right, I'm going to show you how to do some simple uh, numerical operations in your calculator that are a little bit different on the graphing calculator. So the first one is to take a square root of a number. So on your calculator, your control button is yellow, mine is blue. Um, but in order to take the square root of a number, you want to click on control and then x squared, which is just a little bit below it. And then within that dashed box, you want to enter your number. So if we're taking the square root of 49, we type the number in and hit enter, and the square root of 49 is 7. Now we also work a lot with irrational square roots. So if I take the square root, so again, control x squared, of 50, we get a decimal. Now, your calculator will never show you an infinite number of decimals, um, so you just need to know that when you take the square root of a number that is irrational and you get a decimal, Okay, that is an irrational number. So that number does keep going. It just cannot show you all of the infinite number of decimal digits it has. We also work with cube roots a lot. So in order to take the cube root, you're going to hit control and the little caret button. So above it, you'll see a little n and the square root of x. So that box here in the top left is where we're going to put our three. And then you can arrow over into the box underneath the root symbol, and that's where we'll put our number. So we're going to take the cube root of 27, and we get 3.